Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys my eyeshadow collection. This consists of my single eyeshadows, trios, and palettes. These are purely just my powder products and I'm going to also in future videos show you my eyeliner collection, my mascara collection, my blush collection, all that kind of stuff till the end of the year and then I'll give you guys an inventory just of my numbers and my plans for 2016. So let's get started. I'm just, I have a drawer that this like camera thing is sitting on and in one of the drawers is just kind of like my random eyeshadow singles, duos, and trios and then I have my palettes just sitting out right now on my vanity because it normally is in the drawer. So I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys the things I have. So we're going to start off. The first thing I have is this Walking on Eggshells Trio. This is an all-time favorite drugstore trio for me. As you can tell, I have hit pan on this bottom eyelid shade. And this is totally a repurchase once I do finish it up. I would totally recommend that. The next thing I have here are two Rimmel eyeshadows. I have previously already decluttered the my collection, so these are truly products that I really love and recommend. The first color right here is this really pretty purple, and this is called Plum Romance. I'll go ahead and swatch that for you. I don't want to really swatch everything, but that is Plum Romance. It is a beautiful shade. Love it for like all over the eye or just the outer corner it is gorgeous and then you always have to have just a plain neutral not neutral like matte black and this is called jet black it is a really great black eyeshadow and the pack the packaging of that like how beautiful is that it's like quilted pattern and then a little crown gorgeous i also have this little single in Maybelline Champagne. This was one of my like go-to single eyeshadows back in the day. I do still continually reach for it, but it does still need a lot of love. This is really great. I'll go ahead and swatch this for you as well. It just gives off a really pretty sheen to the eyes. I love wearing it. It has a highlight or all over the lid. I don't know if you can see that, but it's that shiny piece right there. It's gorgeous. I'm really happy to have that. Another single I have is a higher end product. This is the NARS Europa. And this is one of their dual intensity blushes. Uh, not blushes, dual intensity eyeshadows. It is gorgeous. I'm super happy to have this. And the packaging is just really cute. I also have a single in Urban Decay Sin. I think this came with like a Superstars collection last year from Sephora, but this is an all-time favorite, like all over lid, gorgeous eyeshadow. It comes also in the Naked Urban Decay Naked palette, so I haven't really touched this single because I am still working on it in my Naked palette. I have this Ulta Molten eye well, eyeshadow in the color Molten. It is a brown eyeshadow and has some gold flex to it. It's really fun. I haven't used it quite that often, but it is a really nice kind of brown with some gold flex to it. In my recent video, the My Beauty Box from Target, they gave me this Pacifica Eyeshadow Trio in Ethereal, Lovely, and Dreamy. So it looks like that. That This is a really nice like neutral kind of eyeshadow trio. I haven't really tested it out on my eyes yet, but I do like it. I have tested out, however, the shade in Ethereal because I did get this from an Ipsy box. I think it was this year. And this, they gave me like this single eyeshadow. I do really like this for all over the lid. I don't know if you can tell but I really like this so I'm happy to have that trio from the beauty box to try a couple of other shades. Let's see. I also have this little sample here from the balm. This is from the Nude Volume 2 little tr 
well, palette, but this is like a sample and the color they gave me was Fit. It's a nice golden shade. I haven't worn this too much, but it feels really nice on the finger. Very creamy. The next thing I have is a shade from Stila. This is their single eyeshadow in Oasis. I have used this quite a bit. And it's a really pretty gold shimmer champagne kind of color. As you can tell, I do like my golds and my champagne shades. Like almost everyone here on YouTube. I have a bunch of these L'Oreal Infallible shades. The first color I have here is called Infinite Sky. It's a gorgeous blue shade. I only wear these like every now and then, this color specifically. Then another fun color I have is Liquid Diamond, which is a silver. Looks like that. And I do still think all these um, infallible shades are still being sold, so I definitely would recommend them. They're probably my favorite drugstore eyeshadows besides that walk, Walking on Eggshells from Wet n Wild. This other shade is called Amber Rush, which I have used a ton. It is like a coppery kind of color. Love that. And then the last shade I have here is called iced latte so what I really love doing and I've loved doing it for like a couple of years because it was in a rewind video but um I love putting this on the inside half of my eyelid and then the amber rush on the outside half and it just looks beautiful so totally recommend those and love them anyway this is my an, a shade I got from Etsy this is Ofra in Bliss so this is the eyeshadow and a highlight. Again, it's like a champagne gold kind of shade and highlight. But it's really creamy and pigmented, so I love that. I have a quad, like a sample quad here. This is, I think, from Lancome. I got it from last year for Christmas. This is in Ruby Affair. It is a gorgeous purple kind of set. I have not reached for it that often, honestly, this past year, but I do need to still work on them. Okay. And then I have this palette here. This is the Wet n Wild Blue Had Me at Hello. I love blue eyes. My husband loves blue eyes, so this is the shades you get in that. And they are very pigmented and probably would have been perfect with this outfit. But yeah, love this. And again, it's blue had me at hello. And then another Wet n Wild is another blue shade. I think this is called On Cloud Nine. And I really love the crease shade on this. This is a really nice matte brown shade to use as a crease or as an outer corner lip. And those are the shades. Love those. Another crazy Wet n Wild palette I got for the holidays is called Art in the Streets. Looks like that. I used this for a fox um, costume that I wore this year. Let me know if you guys kind of want to see that tutorial, especially around next year. I can definitely show you guys how I use this palette to do a fox face. So it was pretty fun. Okay, so a couple of NYX stuff. I have this trio here. This was an Aloha Mink Brown and Deep Bronze. All I have left is this Deep Bronze shade. So I really... Oh. So that popped out. But anyway, I really loved that Deep Bronze... The Mink and Aloha shade. So I just got to finish that Deep Bronze one up. Another eyeshadow trio from NYX is in Golden Rust and Walnut Brown. These are what the shades look like. I really love gold browns. Love them on my eyes. I do have like brown hazel kind of eyes. So these just look really gorgeous. Kind of like Egyptian kind of look. You know. You know. Um, this one I got from Ipsy. This is just Ipsy Hearts NYX. 
And these are the shades in that one. I haven't really tried that out. And then these two really fun neck shades that I have loved playing with. This is NYX Iris. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue color. I'm actually going to swatch it for you guys just so you can see how pigmented, like, bam. Like, look at that. That was just sliding it over once. Bam, look at that. So, this is really fun. And then I have a darker shade in Blue Marine, which looks like that. I just love the NYX shades, especially for um, colors because they're super cheap. I know I'm not going to use these crazy colors like all over the top all over the place all the time so it's really fun to have them and they're really good quality as well and then I have this random sample in this drawer this is the Mary Kay Trio haven't tried that so I have a little Sephora Z palette here and it just has my little samples these are two blushes and a bronzer so ignore those but this is like a little sample quad of my coastal scents that I got from Etsy and as you can tell I am hitting pan on it it is on in my pan 16 by 2016 I'll link that video down below but those are actually pretty good quality shadows and are pretty pigmented so going into palettes I'm first going to start off with the smallest one this is a NYX sex bomb Femi Fatale eyeshadow palette. I ha honestly have not reached for this or used it that often so I can't really say much about this but I do have it. The next thing which I'm thinking about panning for Pan That Palette 2016 is the Tarte Aqua Lilies for Tarte. The Aqua Lilies for Tarte palette. This comes with a bunch of neutral eyeshadows and then a blue eyeshadow and a dark brown. Let's see if you can see that. Also comes with a highlight, bronzer, and a blush. So I was on the hunt for this baby back when it was coming out and it was super popular. I was looking for it, went to like four different floors and it was sold out. It was sold out online. But my aunt was lovely enough to give it to me for like a congrats on your new job kind of thing. But I'm really happy to have that. The next thing I got is the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. Looks like that kind of has a shadow all over it, but this is what that looks like. This has a bunch of like their fun colored shades. Again, I love this blue. Love the blue and shattered, but that is that. And also comes with the brush. I recently got the Too Faced Le Chateau and it came with these three beautiful palettes. And you get this black one, which comes with these purpley kind of shades, and a blush. Really love that. Also, this one is my favorite. It comes with like a neutral kind of set and a blush. And then this pink one, which, oh my gosh, I love this one as well. The, and this one comes with a bronzer. So really happy to have those still I think is out on Sephora so check those out. This I got last year in a Tarte set. This is just their high performance naturals. This was a big kind of Christmas set from last year. I've reached for it every now and then. It does this shade right here is gorgeous. I wish they had kind of names written on it so I'd be able to tell you guys and know for myself to pick out these shades in the future if they come out. but. That's the Tarte palette. I have two Lorac palettes. One is the original unzipped palette. And these are the shades in that. And then the other one, as everyone knows who is painting in this community, is the Lorac Pro palette. And this is the shade right there. So I used this actually for my wedding day along with the Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is an all time favorite palette. Love it. And these are the shades you get in that. Very great neutral creamy shades. I would not 
ever be without my Naked palette. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. Love it. I also purchased the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, which is the Rose Gold palette. This one I don't reach for too often, but I do like to reach for it every now and then for like certain pink shades and these kind of cooler tones. But I probably would not repurchase this one if I had the chance to go back. Another Tarte palette I have is, this is called the Amazon Escape palette. This had six eyeshadows right here and two blushes. This is the palette that I got when I couldn't find that Aqua Lily palette. And so I haven't really reached for it that often. This kind of is not the cutest packaging. It's kind of like old granny, just old, not my cup of tea, but I wanted a Tarte palette at that time. And then my two recent ones is the Too Faced Chalk Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. Love this palette right here. And then the last but not least for my eyeshadows is the Anastasia Self Made palette with like this awesome packaging. And these are the shades on that one. I am currently wearing this on my eyes today. I have the color pink champagne all over the lid with metallic plum on the half. And then I also went in with the semi-sweet chocolate bar and did, I mixed mousse and rum raisin for my crease. And then I did coconut cream for my upper brow and inner corner. So there you have it guys. Those are all of my eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes that I have in 2015. Let me know if you guys have any of these eyeshadows and what you guys think of them. I'm not posting this to brag or anything. This is more for me so I know what I have in my collection. And again, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.